And the Bible says that the water opened up. Lord, Can I talk yes. to somebody here and tell you that you just need to get something behind somebody that's going somewhere? Yes. Am I right about it? And don't keep fooling around with people that ain't going nowhere. Oh, Elijah got just what he wanted, which was a double portion of Elijah's anointing. Amen. Let me see if I can leave us alone yes. here. Hallelujah. Amen. He got that. Amen. The mantle. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. But the point I want to make is that Elisha, amen, was willing to follow God's instruction amen. and humble himself before God, and he didn't mind following God's lead. So all I'm saying is that your greatness is wrapped up in your humility. Am I right about it? Amen. Humble yourself in the presence of the Lord. Amen. He will give you the desires of your heart. That's what his word said. I don't know if your Bible reads the same as mine. Amen. But he said he will give you the desires of your heart if you live a life that pleases unto them. Amen. The text. Yes. Yes. This text is not just a story. Because the theme of the text is humility. Amen. And in it, Jesus. Amen. Line seasons that humility is essential. Mm -hmm. Amen. In other words, he gave us several examples. First of all, amen. He gives us humility, amen, that we may enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. See, a person that has no humility would not be able to in enter into the kingdom of God. You see, it's one of those things where God said, I'm going to say, depart from me. I know ye not, ye worker of iniquity. Can I just talk up in here? Amen. Let me tell you, if you're not doing anything for God, that is a statement that we were here, amen, in judgment, judgment day. And then number two, for greatness in the kingdom, amen, of God. We can be great in the kingdom of God, but guess what? It all starts right here on the earth. Am I right about it? Amen. It's what we do day by day. You see, many of believers focus on is on, amen, going to heaven. What well, our focus is supposed to be on those things that we're supposed to do while we're trying to, while we're on our way to heaven. That means every day of our life that God blesses us with grace and mercy, we need to be working out our soul salvation with fear and trembling. Trying to make heaven our home. Amen. Amen. Then number three, humility. Mm -hmm. Amen. To prevent offenses. All right. Amen. The Bible says that offenses will come. Yes. But woe be unto those who bring the offenses. Am I right about it? Yes. Amen. So we need to watch our mouth like James said. We need to watch that old tongue because that tongue can mess up Amen. our eternal place yes. to live. Yes. And then number four, to carry on proper discipline in the church. And then number five, forgiving one another. Right. I need to tell you today that if we don't forgive, amen, we can't get forgiveness. Right. Am I right about it? Yeah. Don't think you're going to have a heart in your heart and you're going to go to God and ask for That's forgiveness. Right. Because his word says that, amen, that if you don't forgive your brother, mm -hmm. amen, the heavenly father will not forgive you. Amen. So I don't know who I'm talking to in here today, but if you got something in your heart, amen, you can never be great in the kingdom of God until you got a pure and honest heart. Amen. Let me see if I can close and leave us alone. Amen. So greatness yes. in the kingdom of God yes. implies rank. Mm -hmm. Amen. A, st a status that Jesus himself had. All right. So how great do you want to be? All right. The Lord takes a little child and he puts it in the midst of the disciples when they ask their question. And he says to them that unless you are converted. Mm -hmm. In other words, there has to be a change in our life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, and, and that doesn't mean, church, that we just stop doing some of the things that we used to do. Ah. Because we got too old to do them. Amen. He said you have to be converted. Yeah. Conversion starts from the inside. Amen. And it shows up on the outside. Am I right about it? Amen. If, if there's no change on the inside, it is not going to show up on the outside. He said you have to be converted. 
and becoming one of these little children. He says, by now, amen, there are no means you will be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. In other words, you cannot make it, amen, into God's kingdom. Am I right about it? Yeah. Unless there has been a conversion. Yeah. Yeah. We remember the apostle Paul and how bad a person he was. Amen. But once he got converted on the Damascus road, right. God saw uh, the apostle Paul, amen, who was then saw, God saw him as what he was going to be and not what he was at the moment. I'm trying to tell somebody today that God is looking at you, amen, for what he can make out of you. Amen. Can I tell you today that you can't make anything out of yourself? Mm. It's God that has to do it for you. Oh, yeah. Am I right about it? Converted means, amen, to turn around and go in the opposite direction amen. in which, amen, you were going in the first place. All right. In John chapter 3, we call it being born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. That means that something's going to happen to that old man on the inside. Amen. And the Bible says we need to put him off, amen, and put on the new man. In other words, we need to change some things. And, and guess what, church? In changing some things, we got to change some folks. I know I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. Amen. You can't get into, some, into heaven and become great in the kingdom of God, amen, with some of the people that we hang out with right now. Amen. 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 A ruler amen. by the name of Nicodemus. Amen. Thought he was doing all he was doing okay as a ruler of the Jews <laughs> until he heard the teachers of Jesus. <laughs> and then he realized that there was something missing in his life. So we know the story. We know his story. Mm -hmm. He sneaks out, amen, at night and makes his way to Jesus. And he questions Jesus about his teaching. And he wanted to know, Rabbi, what is this that you are teaching? Mm -hmm. Amen. His point was, I've been a leader a long time. And I have never heard anything like this, what you're talking about today. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Nicodemus said, I need you to help me understand these words that you are saying. I'm saying to somebody today, sometime when you think you got it all right and you think you understand everything, that's probably the time when you really need to seek God diligently. Am I right, somebody? Uh -huh. Amen. See, if, 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 see, if I know uh, Paul said he never matured to a point that he didn't need, amen, to see the Lord because he realized that there are some members in his body that kept him from doing that which he didn't want to do. Am I right about it? Yeah. Paul said, the things that I would do, amen, I find myself not doing. Yeah. But the things that I know that I'm not supposed to be doing, those are the things that I find myself doing. Paul said, there's another member in my body. In other words, there's something in me that I have not gotten out yet that keep me doing the thing, some of the things that I used to do. I know that anybody in here that said they're saved or sanctified that's still doing what you used to do. Am I right, somebody? Hey, if you got the same attitude that you had 20 years ago, that means that something is missing down on the inside. Paul said, I'm going to live in testimony. I find myself doing things that I know I should be doing. Things that I know I should be doing, I find myself All right. not doing. Amen. Amen. And what I'm saying is that Paul had a tight relationship with the Lord. Amen. But yet, there were some problems within himself. But each time he got weak, he would say to himself, I'm going to forget about yesterday. Yes, I'm going to keep my own going. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to hold my head up in the midst of my troubles. Right. I'm going to count it all joy when I fall into divers temptation. Mm -hmm. if somebody need to get forget about yesterday mm -hmm. and tell the devil to get out of my way. Tell him that I am going to be great in the kingdom of God. Tell him that God has placed greatness on the inside of me. And I am going to let God bring it on the outside. Am I right 
about it. Uh-huh. Yes, Paul said that yesterday is gone, yeah. but today is a brand new day. Right. Right. Am I asking somebody, how great do you want to be in the kingdom of God? Amen. How great do you want to be in the Lord today? Amen. I want to be great enough to cast out devils when somebody is demon possessed. And uh, to be able to set free men, women, and girls, and boys. Yes, uh, I want to be great enough uh, to speak to my troubles uh, and tell troubles uh, to get out of my way. I want to be great enough to lay hands on the sick and, and watch God heal their body. I want to be great enough to stand like Joe and, and tell that you don't know what you're talking about. I want to be bold enough to be like Joe when he told his wife, a woman, you sound like a, a foolish woman. But I know the God that I serve. I know he hasn't forgot about me. I want to be great enough uh, uh, to the God that made me in his own image. I heard him say that I can cast out devil and I want to be just that great. The God that made me sanctified through his darling son. The God who filled me with his Holy Spirit. The God who has forgiven me for all of my sins. He can make me great in his heavenly kingdom. I don't know about you, but I am so glad. Amen. The trouble don't